fresh off a victory against the Patriot League's best defensive squad in the Army Black Knights, the BU Terriers came home to take on the Patriot League's best offense in the number two ranked Loyola Greyhounds. Loyola got on the board first, but didn't lead again until nine to eight. The Terrier offense was clicking on all cylinders. James Burr had a nine point day, and Timmy Lay had five goals on the afternoon. You know, definitely I'm sure in the summers, you know, see each other down in Baltimore in summer leagues or around town, so. Fed down low, BU ties it up. That's Timmy Lay on a feed from Jared Nugent. It's one all and the track meet has begun. Sean Chrisman was outstanding at the X for the Terriers, winning 22 out of 33 faceoffs to give BU possession. You know, you're gonna see dunks like that. 6.26 to go here in the first quarter. Two all, another faceoff win for the Terriers. Here's Gray, feeds down low, Burr scores! <laughs> wow, Chris Gray, amazing handle right there, keeps that ball alive and, and enables the Terriers to finish that transition play. Coming off a performance against Army that earned him the Patriot League Rookie of the Week just a few days ago, Jake Cates tied the game up at nine with just a few seconds to go in the first half. Now goes through X, splits back, rolls his way around Razanka, Cates rolls, shoots, scores! An individual clinic by Jake Cates and he beats Stover to tie the game at nine with just nine ticks left on the clock here on the scoreboard in Alston. In a matchup of the Patriot League's top two scoring offenses, it was the Terriers that flexed their muscle, putting 18 in the back of the net against the outstanding Greyhound goalkeeper, Jacob Stover. But they got what they wanted here, right? They got the ball out of that double team and unfortunately just turned it over here. Eddie for Burr. Walks in, feeds it down. Gray scores! Wow. Wow. Chris Gray's been quiet in the second half. Burr and Lay have been electric, but right there, yeah. Chris Gray builds on another monster performance as we approach the final 10 seconds. It's been a wild one here in Alston, Massachusetts. The Boston University Terriers at home take down the number two team in the country. Alston, Massachusetts, enjoy this one on Patriots weekend in Boston. The Terriers knock off Loyola in convincing fashion. BU will return to action next Saturday afternoon at home as they take on the Holy Cross Crusaders on Nesson. Live back here at Nickerson Field with Coach Ryan Poley, I'm Dan McLaughlin. The BU men's lacrosse team just took down the number two team in the country. The Loyola Greyhounds have all kinds of firepower, Coach, but you guys came to play. Just talk about what this win means for the program. Uh, I mean, it's just a, it's a program win. We talked about it going into that we had to execute today, but it wasn't just about today. It was about the summer. It was about these guys committing here and believing in what we were going to do. Uh, and then executing. So it wasn't just about today. This this was a, a long time coming and a lot of preparation went into this and a lot of hard work. So this, this was a program win. Nine points on the day for James Burr, five goals for Timmy Lay, Chris Gray as usual, dangerous self. The three of them seem to be clicking on all cylinders right now against a very good Loyola defense. What'd they do today? Uh, you know, they just kind of followed the game plan. I thought that the guys did a great job of sharing the ball. Uh, we did really well at the face off that Sean Christman did, gave us extra possession. I thought we cleared the ball really well. Uh, and then th those guys are just special. When they're on, they're great, um, and, and they just really share the ball great. And I thought we got some really good play from our midfielder. Silburn had a great game. Um, Nugent gave us some minutes, good minutes, and, and certainly Aviana got one. And then, you know, Chris kind of runs the show and gets it to the guys, and, and James shot the ball really well, was unselfish. And then Timmy you know, did his usual stuff, finishing on that back play. We all know how good Loyola can be offensively. Yep. Pat Spencer's having another fantastic season. Yep. Quentin Germain and company hold him to one assist today. And yep. between him and Joe McSorley, you were awesome defensively. Just yep. talk about that effort today. I think Coach Shibberlick has done a great job with the defense. Um, had a great game plan and, and the guys execute it. So, you know, starting with Quentin and uh, we, we didn't give much Quentin much help and he did a great job in the time that we went. Uh, it was timely and, and we did a great job. And the guys supporting uh, off ball did a great job filling inside and making sure they couldn't throw the ball inside. Uh, and then certainly as as they started to go to the goal later in that, you know, second half, you know, Joe made some huge saves. Uh, by far Joe's best game. Um, and he made, you know, not as many saves as Providence, but I think he had as many key saves and hard saves and really allowed us to stress that lead in the third quarter. You guys are far from done. This is a big win for the yeah. program, but you're heading into the postseason now. A lot of people know that you guys can be dangerous. You proved it here today once yeah. again. How excited are you for the postseason? 
I'm just excited about today. That's, that's all we're going to worry about. The postseason's in a couple of weeks, and certainly that's our goal is, is to get there and, and do some damage in the playoffs. But, you know, this was a great win, and, and we're going to enjoy it. Uh, and then Monday we'll get back to work and start thinking about Holy Cross. Well, congratulations again. Your team certainly earned this one. A big win for you guys. That's Coach Ryan Poley after BU's 18-11 victory over the Loyola Greyhounds. I'm Dan McLaughlin on the Patriot League Network. Thank <laughs> you.